I have no problem even though I may have something very clear, very solidified in my mind about a particular shot. Say first and foremost, I'm growing to be a lot more communicative, a lot more articulate about why a shot will feel different from here versus here and why I think it's better to put the camera there. Um, so I feel like I'm growing because of the great directors, the wonderful directors that I've had an opportunity and been blessed to work with. They have taught me how to be better, a better communicator. They've taught me how to really get down to the business of telling stories through images versus being a technocrat. Like, they don't care about the lenses or the lighting at the moment. They just want to know why the camera's better feeling-wise here versus here, you know? And so I have to be able to communicate why it's important to be, for the camera to be there. Ultimately, in my opinion, is, is, for, is the opinion for the story because I'm only telling you to put the camera there because I believe the story needs it, not because I just want to put the camera there. That's the beginning stage of the process, and the director may say, I like it there, let's try it. let's start there, but let's also try it here. Where I think it's important to have the camera here because the story is, this moment needs to be shot from this angle because there's gonna be, there's gonna be some other things happening off in here, in this part of the set that we need to see, whatever the logic is. And so, when I was you know, younger, making films, I didn't always like that because you wanted to, your idea to be your idea and you want that to stay, but I've definitely haven't worked with and I'm working with directors who are stronger than me as directors than I am as a cinematographer, you know, and so I'm always learning. I'm always learning. I'm always redefining my practice. So now I'm less resistance for sure because I know that if I don't see it now, but if I put the camera there, I'll find in my own soul and body, I'll come to understand why it was important and why it is important to put the camera when the director said, yeah, I see, I, yeah, I like what you want to do, but I, I think we need to do it there as well. And so. Um, again, I'm, in my practice, I've grown to just um, roll with that because there's always an opportunity to learn. Um, and, you know, maybe sometimes the opportunity is to learn what you don't like. You know, like, I got it, but I didn't really like it there because of this. I didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't appreciate the camera there because, not because of the initial reason why I thought I wouldn't appreciate the camera there, but actually when I put it there, I learned something totally new. You know, I learned something very different about that character or the space or a lens or a way of working and so it's just about compromise man. And it's about collaboration that's what collaboration is collaboration is it's guerrilla it's guerrilla warfare it's in and out you know <laughs> you go in you die you probably you come out you rest you go in you rest you know and so sometimes when you're resting the other key collaborator the director is in there doing it all and that's beautiful too a lot of now i've grown to like love to watch that as well like i know exactly the 10 places we need to put the camera okay let's do it you know we just we do that and it, like it's beautiful because you know, everybody's getting what they want. Ultimately, you're getting what's right for the story. And that's taken me a long time to get to that point where I'm like, it's all about the story, but I'm getting there, you know? I'm getting there because I've learned to accept compromise. Mm -hmm.